Apple Music is now officially integrated with DJ Pro. This was one of the most common questions that I got asked since I started this channel, and I'm so excited for this news. And by the end of this video, you're going to know all about it. So in order to use Apple Music with DJ Pro, you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to install the latest update and then log in to your Apple Music streaming account. If you don't have an Apple Music streaming account, there is a pretty good free trial, so I recommend doing the free trial and seeing how you like it. And let's see how this streaming service integration compares to other streaming services on the app, such as SoundCloud and Tidal. Let's look at our sources. So the sources have changed a little bit. They added Apple Music. It looks like the same symbol that they had for your local music, which confused people. Everyone thought that was Apple Music, but it wasn't. Now, now it is Apple Music. And then down here, we have another symbol for our local music. So our local music is the music that is downloaded on the device that you're DJing with. And then Apple Music is the Apple Music streaming service. So let's see what we got. We're going to press Apple Music right here. And then now we get a couple of options. Number one is your library. This is your library inside of the Apple Music app. So if you have songs and playlists and songs that you played, this is where you will find it. And then our next option, I'm just going to go through these options here and explain what they do. Next is Listen Now. This is like the quick start of Apple Music. So they have the different genres. They got reggae, they got dance, metal, all of these different genres. And you could just choose one of these genres and choose a song and start DJing right away. Next, we have the charts. This is one of the best features of this streaming service on this app is we have access to multiple top 100 charts. So it starts on the Apple Music top 100 and we get a new hidden drop down menu. If we press right here on this drop down menu, we can change the, the list from Apple Music Top 100, Alternative, all these different genres, some of them I never even heard of, which is really cool. And let's, uh, for example, let's do rock. So it gives us top 100s in rock, and then any genre that you choose, you will get the top 100s. So I'm just going to set it back to Apple Music Top 100s. And then we have the match feature. This is going to match songs according to what you have loaded onto the decks. And then we have auto mix. So with auto mix, you could get one of these playlists from Apple Music and then auto mix the playlist and you will be, and then you will have, an, it would be like listening to Apple Music, but it will use AI to professionally DJ the songs for you, which is really cool. I made a lot of videos on auto mix. So there's a couple of things that I want to test out. And now the one thing that I really wanted to test out is if you could use the amazing neural mix feature with this streaming service. Let's see the moment of truth. So the moment of truth. Let's just load up a song, jungle. Song is playing. And now we're going to go to neural mix. Let's take out the instrumentals. Really? Neural mix cannot be used which streaming from Apple Music due to licensing terms, this feature is currently not available. So you can't use Neuromix if you're using this streaming service. I was really hoping that this would replace Tidal for me and then I'd be able to use Neuromix, but unfortunately it seems like none of the new streaming services are going to be able to be used with Neuromix. Now let's try one more thing because with Tidal, you weren't uh, allowed to use different streaming services at the same time. So let's see if I could load up a song from Tidal over here. So you can play songs from Tidal and Apple Music at the same time, which is really cool because I really like this streaming service Tidal. And if you guys want to learn how to DJ with Tidal, check out this video over here.